Hello my friends and welcome again to the complete Kotlin course. In this video, we'll start learning about something called nullability. So all the variables and constants you've dealt with so far have had a concrete values. When you had a string variable like uh, var uh, name equal to, let me say Jack, you associated a value to this name. And if we remove this, we have inst instantiate it with empty name, okay? No name, but it have a value with a no space and no characters, but it have a value. This is the difference between var name, var equal to, a var name equal to empty string, and var equal to null. So what is null and what is the usage of this? Sometimes it's useful to be able to represent the absence of a value. Imagine a scenario where you need to refer a person's identifying information like a name and you want to store his person's name, age and occupation. Name and age are both things that must have a value. Everyone has them, but not everyone is employee. So var uh, like age equal to 29 and var, var occupation, maybe it is... Uh, for you as a student, no occupation. For me as a developer, so I can developer. Okay, so. And the name, everyone have a name. So like Jack, 29 and is develop. But what if I become an un unemployed? So maybe I have reached enlightenment and which to live out of rest of my days on top of a mountain. This is when it would be useful to be able to refer to an absence of the value. Okay, so this will indicate if I remove this, it will indicate that I am I'm having an occupation. Okay, I am having an occupation, but it is not null so if i refer as a null it would remove all it will indicate the absence of a value okay null is the name given to the absence of a value okay absence of a value and you are about to see how kotlin incorporates this concept directly into language in a rather elegant way. Some other programming languages simply use senatal, senatinal uh, values. Some have the concept of null value, but is merely a synonym of for zero. It's just another uh, value like zeros. But null is not making absence of a value. Kotlin introduced a whole new set of types called nullable types that handles the possibility of a value could be null. Okay, if you are handling a non-null value, they are then you are guaranteed to have a value and don't need to uh, worry about the existence of a valid value. Similarly, if you are using a nullable type then you know you must handle the null case. It removes the ambiguity introduced in using other values. So think of a nullable as a box. It either contains a value or it does not. Let me show you how. So as I told you, think about nullable as a box here. And here another box. It either contain a value or it does not. When it does not contain a value, it is said to be containing none. 
So here, no, nothing. If I put here null, it contain a value the having a null, okay? So I can't put anything here in order to introduce it as a null. So nothing, it is void. It's nothing contained inside this box. So this is null, nullable box containing no value. If I store inside this box value five, so it is not, not null. Okay, it is not null box. It's very simple. A string or an int, on the other hand, does not have this box around it. Instead, there is always a value such as like hello or one one. Remember, Non-null values types are guaranteed to have an actual actual file, uh, value. Setting the value is very simple. We can clarify this by making setting the occupation later on equal to developer. Okay? So I have changed it by this, but there is an error here telling change type of occupation to string. And we need to make this step in order to make it uh, nullable and allow to edit it later. Okay. This is the assertion. This is the assertion. This is the concept of a changing uh, uh, the printing out the value of a nullable or we have uh, changing the value of a nullable okay so here it was a va an uh, uh, nullable value nullable variable we introduced a string does not uh, this is the string and question mark we are going to learn more about it in the next videos and when we change the nullable we need to make this assertion and we have to introduce the new value so if i print occupation it will give me a develop you see guys how to change a value of a variable that it was initialized as a null this is how we do. Okay?